science is all about God. I've had people comment and say to me, oh, you need to leave God out of the sciences. They're, they're not. You can't put those two together. Absolutely not. As Christians, we, Christian education is really important because scripture says in Romans 1, 19 through 21, that really, to sum it up, we study the sciences so that we can know God, give him glory, and give him thanks. Yep, that's what it says. It says that these things have been made known to them, are plain to them, meaning the creation and the things that have been made are plain to everyone, and through them we see God's invisible qualities, his eternal power, and his divine nature. And so that none of us, that, so that we're without excuse, we all have seen creation and we all know God through creation, but not everyone glorifies God or gives God thanks for creation. And so we really want to make sure that we are teaching our children as we're studying creation to glorify God. And they will not get this in a non-Christian education setting. So how do we do that? Well, a really wonderful way to do it is field study. And I enjoy field study. I'm super inspired by John Muir Laws. However, John Muir Laws is one of those naturalists that doesn't know God. It's amazing how he can just devote his life to studying creation. And yet at the end of the day, he does not acknowledge the creator of creation. Now, if we looked at an amazing Picasso painting and never talked about Picasso, that would be a little bit strange, and yet many naturalists do this. I love watching Gardener's World. I love how Carol Klein just wonders at all of these different flowers that are in the fields, and she is always wondering at creation, and I love that. I love how she does that, but guess what? She never points to God. In fact, she, she uh, leaves him out. Now, Gardner's World and, and John Muir Law's website can be helpful tools to us. But as Christian educators, we have a different framework. We have a biblical worldview that we bring to the table. And it starts with the fact that God has made this world. And as we're looking at his world, we always want to be returning to giving God glory and thanks. So one way we do that in my field study class is when we see something amazing, we just talk about it. So we were looking at crystalline structures on grasses in the field, and we were doing field study out in the field. And as we took notes and observed uh, very carefully the, the shininess of the crystals, their different structures, what they reminded us of, like sugar and salt crystals or rock crystals, um, as we just kind of got in deep to the, into wonder and how sparkly and wow, it looks like diamonds. And we just got so excited looking at these crystalline structures which by the way, a chemist had pointed out to me, a Christian chemist, why don't people realize the wonderful, wonderful world of frost? Um, as we did that, we took a moment to say, isn't God amazing? He's showing us his glory right here. That is so important in education that we take the time to give God glory and thanks for the world that he has made. And so this is what this is our aim and our goal in Christian education and why children at every level of the study of science need to have Christian education. It's very important. It's really exciting too and it fills us with joy and it fills us with hope. We know that we're not alone, that God is right here with us, right very near to us. And so there's so much hope in Christian education. I want to encourage all of you parents to take the next step in pursuing uh, a Christian education for your children.